I know this isn't a Mario Kart video, but who says this was just a Mario Kart channel? You thought I put this guy on the banner for nothing? Expect more Sonic content in the future. So, Sonic's 30th anniversary is coming up this summer, June 23rd to be Pacific. What's also coming up is the South by Southwest Sonic panel, a panel where some of the known Sonic reps drop and display what they have in store for Sonic in the future. Or is what I would say if the gaming expo didn't get cancelled, for fuck sakes. <clears throat> Last year, South by Southwest as a whole was cancelled due to, well, you know, and rightfully so, keep safe everyone. However, Sega made a post saying that they were going to host a digital event of what they have in store for Sonic. Then it never happened. All we got out of the Sonic series in 2020 was a movie, a nice and wholesome movie, posters, and memes. While the movie and posters were nice and the memes just being there, it was still depressing not knowing what Sega had planned for Sonic in the future, especially considering the series 30th anniversary is coming up soon. The last mainline Sonic game was Sonic Forces back in 2017, and we all know how that game turned out. I am not Oh brother, this guy stinks! Between the releases of Forces and now, it feels like the series has been in a holding period in terms of the mainline Sonic games. But we got Sonic Mania Plus and Team Sonic Racing, and you're right. And while Mania Plus was cool, it was more so the same game before with minor changes and additions. Team Sonic Racing was nice, but the replayability of that game isn't enough for me to keep on playing it. I mean, is there anyone currently playing that game now? It pretty much fell off the radar shortly after release. So to me, it feels like we're in a drought. A drought that's been going on since the release of Forces. A drought that God knows how much longer it'll be till we even get a crumb of Sonic game news. At the start of 2020, and pretty much over the last five years, Sega has been saying this is the year of Sonic, which is a tagline that I honestly get sick of every time I hear it. It's the year of Sonic. Oh boy, what do you have? A subpar Sonic game with more posters than you know what to do with. Bitch what? It's really annoying of them saying it's the year of Sonic when for the most part, what they've been delivering has been a letdown. Honestly, that's the best way to sum up this series over the last decade. A letdown. There's been good games and other features, but they're outweighed by the massive amount of disappointment they've delivered over the 2010s. At least to me it is. Forces being one of the most disappointing games I've ever played, especially how well they hyped it up. Classic Sonic being the front and center of attention even though this isn't 1994, but because Mania did so well while Forces bombed, the company had to capitalize on something I guess. Sonic Boom right of Lyric being the Sonic 06 of this decade but with no redeeming qualities. Well, the TV show was great while it lasted. Oh wait, I can't read. The fan base splitting even further apart due to the whole modern and classic Sonic situation, which let's be real, has done more harm than good. Whose bright idea was it to say that Cluster Sonic is from another dimension? I just want to talk, I swear. The writing in almost all of the games became more cringe as time went on. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. Damn, you got him there, Sonic. Give me five, because that's the scale out of a hundred of how funny that joke was. Remember when Sonic games used to have good stories? I'm sure you guys get the picture. To me, the 2010s for the Sonic series has sucked for the most part. However, it's a new decade, and it seems Sega is going into a new direction with this series. Since the start of the year, we've gotten many bombshells worth of news. Great voice actors like Roger Craig Smith, Cindy Robinson, and potentially more are no longer voicing their respective characters in the series. We also got the long-awaited confirmed announcement of the new 3D animated show, Sonic Prime. A show that includes Men of Action, the same group of people that made this awesome show. By the way, Heat Blast is Ben's best original aliens. In terms of the games, the closest thing we got so far were the Sonic Rift leaks. Honestly, I pray to god these leaks are just someone trying to mess with people. Sonic Rift is not what this series needs right now. Or ever. Fans over the past few months have also been speculating that Sega might be remaking both adventure games. I've never played the adventure games myself, but I'd be much more relieved if Sega goes down this route than delivering another Forces type game, or Sonic Rift. Go away, Sonic Rift. With all that being said, I'm keeping my expectations for the future of Sonic low, very low. For the past few years, Sega has been hyping up and telling their audience that this will be worth witnessing, when at the end, it leaves me in a disappointed state. I've been down this path before and have been burned because of it. How can you say this is the year of Sonic when the last five to 10 years have mostly been below average? Hey look, this game is being made by the creators of Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, and look how well that turned out for them. Don't you worry. Sorry, we're delaying this game to make sure it's polished, only for it to be subpar. We've got a whole new show for you to watch, cool, 
but until I've watched it myself, I'm keeping my expectations at a low bar. I love this series, and truth be told, it'll take a lot for me to turn my back on it. I'm just tired of these false promises I've been told. No matter what Sega has planned for Sonic in the future, I'll be there to witness it. I just hope whatever they hype up next, it'll actually reflect on how well their next Sonic game related project is. So what are your feelings about Sonic as the series approaches its 30th anniversary? Tell me in the comments section below and like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.